so uh, we're back out to Tim Anderson Racing out here in Milton, Florida. We're working on the Rayburn uh, chassis for the 2020 Fan Crate Late Model Challenge. Wanted to do a little video on uh, the Burt transmission and how to operate it. And uh, just a quick background, uh, Burt, uh, Burt's been around a long time. They build a very reliable uh, two-speed uh, transmission. And uh, if you treat them right, they go a long ways. Uh, one thing, uh, one thing we learned a long time ago is uh, let's not uh, use a, the the clutch, internal clutch, to uh, you know load the car into the trailer and do that with a cable winch. So the Burt transmission uh, relies on the standard uh, pedal setup. Uh, you got the clutch, uh, you got the clutch pedal, brake pedal, accelerator pedal. Uh, pretty standard stuff. Uh, we've run uh, over the years. We've run uh, manual transmissions, automatic transmissions, all kinds of stuff. But uh, we've run uh, actually a button clutch, uh, which uh, is a whole other story. Uh, but uh, this Burt transmission uses the standard pedal setup. And uh, a couple things about Burt is. Uh, the clutch pedal is completely opposite, used completely opposite of what uh, standard transmission would be. Uh, for example, uh, we look at the shifter over here. Two lever shifter, we've got one lever for reverse and one lever for uh, low gear and high gear. And uh, how you'd operate this thing, uh, let's say you're going to back away from the trailer. Uh, you do not push the clutch down get it all in one shot here you push it into reverse and you ease ease the clutch down and a little bit of gas at the same time to keep the engine running uh, and you try not to slip the clutch as much as you can uh, this is reverse <coughs> so you step the clutch down to get the car to move let it up to stop so let's say you're backed out of the pit space uh, you want to go out in time trial pull this back into neutral this one goes into uh, what it is low gear, and this car is set up uh, as the right hand is the low and the high. And again, you uh, push it into low gear, uh, push uh, the clutch down to get the car to roll. And again, you don't want to slip the clutch too much. Uh, it's not uh, it's not like a regular clutch. It's a small clutch within the transmission. As you get the car to roll, uh, you get it out on the track. You bring the RPM up to let's say two to three thousand RPM, and you would let off the clutch completely and snap this back into high gear. Again, low gear, high gear, and uh, that's pretty much the short of it. Uh, of course, uh, you know if you get the car spun out and you have to uh, get it back into neutral, engines died. Uh, you've, you've got to maybe bump the starter a little bit and push this ahead at the same time uh, to get it out of high gear. Uh, that way you could fire the car again and then you know start in low again and again roll the car by pushing the you know pushing the clutch in without uh, you know without slipping the clutch too much. So. example of uh, putting it into high gear it's about 2500 rpm when you snap it back and you got to let off uh, you let off the clutch 
and let off the gas at the same time, snap it back into high gear. Hope that helps. Anybody trying to learn how to run a Burt transmission?